The COBIT-5 Foundation Certificate Module 2 The COBIT-5 Principles Lesson 1 Introduction Welcome to Module 2 Lesson 1. In this lesson, we're going to introduce the five principles. The lesson includes a description of the principles and an introduction to governance and management. Let's start this lesson by considering what a principle is and why it is important. Maybe the best way to approach this is to use an analogy. You'll be familiar with the principle of free speech. It is a principle widely recognized as being a foundation stone of a democratic society. That principle guides and informs the behavior of governments, government bodies at all levels, and government officials, whether elected or appointed. Laws and regulations are enacted to support and promote this principle. The five principles of COBIT-5 relate to governance and management in a similar way that the principle of free speech relates to a democratic society. They are the bedrock on which good governance and management rests. The five principles underpin the COBIT-5 framework and provide overall guidance in the design and operation of a governance and management system. The diagram on your screen shows the five key principles that COBIT-5 identifies as being key to the successful governance and management of enterprise IT. The five principles are meeting stakeholder needs, covering the enterprise end-to-end, -end, applying a single integrated framework, enabling a single holistic approach, and separating governance from management. You will need to remember these for your exam. We're going to introduce each principle here before we look at them in more detail in the rest of the module. Let's start with a brief look at Principle 1, Meeting Stakeholder Needs. Enterprises exist to create value for their stakeholders. You should understand that value can take many forms. Financial value is just one of them. For example, citizens are stakeholders in their local fire department, but the value they expect is not financial. All the activities of the enterprise should have the aim of delivering that stakeholder value, though not at any cost. We'll explore this later. COBIT-5 uses the goals cascade mechanism to translate high-level enterprise goals into specific actionable processes and practices. COBIT-5 defines a stakeholder as anyone who has a responsibility for, an expectation from, or some other interest in the enterprise. Before we move on, it's time for our first course exercise. Throughout this course, you will find a number of exercises that help you to apply, absorb, and understand the concepts that we are studying. It's really important you complete each exercise to reinforce your learning. For each course exercise, you'll find a suggested answer in the study guide that you download at the end of the module. 